Hello, it's Genshi with a review of Marvel Guardians of the Galaxy, the Telltale series. Before we dive in, if you end up liking this video, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. We're new to YouTube, so your support does go a long way. So let's dive in. Marvel's Guardian of the Galaxy, the Telltale game, is an adventure game starring the characters from Marvel's hit movie. Now, I want to start off talking about the gameplay. If you've never played an adventure or a Telltale game before, you may not understand the lack of actual gameplay the titles have. Think of the game as more of an interactive movie. The game presents situations and you choose the dialogue that best suits you. There are a couple situations where you take control of Peter Quill, the main character also known as Star-Lord, to basically solve environmental puzzles and uh, to speak to other characters. I use the term environmental puzzles very loosely. It's more like clicking on different objects in the world in the correct order. The other gameplay is a collection of quick time events, basically visual prompts that correlate with actions and buttons you press on your controller. In short, these games are mostly automated and the game is more like a choose your own adventure book come to life. The story sees its five protagonists, Star-Lord, Drax the Destroyer, Groot, Rocket Raccoon, and Gamora chasing the almighty Thanos. But that is just the start. The game sees Peter struggle to keep his crew together whilst dealing with an ancient powerful artifact and a near extinct race attempting to resurrect their numbers. The story is merely serviceable. It appears to start far after the movie. It seems to be based in the same universes as well. One thing I have to give the game is it doesn't give in to regular story conventions. I legitimately didn't see some of the story beats coming. The game and its story hinges on the fact that you already know the characters and you already love their tropes. I feel like a person with no knowledge of the source material or comics will be completely lost, as the game takes no time to explain itself. The game uses comedy like the movie, but here it doesn't always stick its landing. The graphics and art style work well. The game looks amazing when you're not looking directly at the characters' faces and the emotions they attempt to convey. The game also has a lip sync issue. At times it just takes you out of the experience. The game also stutters, and it saves in the middle of fight scenes causing even more of a stutter. The game looks good, and its attention to detail is fantastic. Too bad the facial animations remind me of something out of the original Sims game. All in all, if you're a diehard fan of the Guardian Cinematic Universe and don't mind not having much game in your game, then you'll love this. I personally love the Telltale games, but this feels like a weaker start to me, and its ending feels really uninspired. I rate games on a scale of lame, rough, solid, excellent, and amazing, with amazing being my highest praise. This game is a mere solid. I'm not too invested in the ending of Episode 1 doesn't have me salivating for a sequel, but I'm still optimistic. Anyhow, this is my opinion, and here at Idio Freak, we want you to think on your own frequency. So what do you think? Was I too harsh? Sound off in the comments below. And while you're there, don't be afraid of that like and subscribe button. This has been Genshi with Idio Freak, and I'll catch you next time. Freak Nation out.